What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the wall. Let's get straight into it. I successfully sued my sperm donor, and now I get 40% of his paycheck. You have no idea how happy this makes me because now I can be a stay-at-home mom because 40% of his paycheck can support me fully financially. So what happened was I'm a lesbian, and I can't have babies the natural way, obviously. So I went the IVF route, and I went to a sperm bank, and I bought sperm. I get pregnant. I have my baby. I'm living with my girlfriend. She's working full-time, so she's supporting us financially. And then all of a sudden, she decides she wants to break up, and she refuses to give me child support. She said, I don't want anything to do with this baby. I'm not on the birth certificate. I'm not legally obligated to take care of them. I'm out. And I said, well, shit, what am I going to do now? Then it occurred to me, I could sue the baby's biological father. I mean, the baby wouldn't be here without him, right? So my friend that works at the sperm bank got me my sperm donor's contact info, and I texted him, and I acted like it was the wrong number. And we ended up making plans. We were texting back and forth for a while. We ended up making plans to meet up, and I hung out with him for a few months, befriended him, and then I got a DNA sample off of his cup one day. I swapped it for his saliva. I sent it in and made sure that he actually was the biological father of my child, and he was. So I took him to court to get child support, and they granted me 40% of his paycheck. Oh. Damn! Oh my wow. 40% of this man's paycheck, and he was a sperm donor. And the thing is, when you go donate sperm, dude, you probably make like what? They give you like 100 bucks, 75 bucks. It's not like you're making a lot of money. This is pure evil. Like, why would anyone do this? This is so bad. If the roles were reversed and it was a guy doing this, like, oh my gosh, women would be in an uproar, but a chick goes out there and she gets applauded. This is wild to me. She was in a lesbian relationship with her girlfriend, decided to do IVF. Usually sperm donors, they like sign away all their rights and say, hey, I'm not liable for what you guys do with this. But then she took him to court and sued him and is taking 40% of this man's paycheck. This, this is scary. Fellas, you really got to be careful what you stick in your pee in, bro, because... This is this is absolutely wild to me. I, I've seen some crazy stories on this channel, but this one is is definitely like top three. This is wild to me. I successfully sued my sperm donor, and now I get forty percent of his paycheck. I'm the sperm donor, and yes, I've been court ordered oh, to pay roughly forty percent of my paycheck to this random woman and her child. Um, the thing is, is, when I was eighteen, nineteen years old, I was in the Marines, short on cash, and I thought it would be a good idea to donate some sperm yeah. for some easy money. Yeah, I made a total of one hundred and fifty dollars. They came back to buy me because now I'm paying this woman thousands of dollars a month for a child I had no part in making or wanting. Um, I did sign an agreement at the time saying yeah, that I would not be held liable for anything that happens to the sperm after I donated it. Yeah, exactly. But I guess some laws changed and she found wow. a legal loophole that states that I now have responsible for the child. So now I pay. I have to pay her monthly. It, it doesn't make any sense. Wow. Um, I'm working on appealing it. So if anybody has any ideas or knows anybody who knows a good lawyer um send them my way because this is just unfair this is unbelievable the fact that this man has had to go through this he was just a sperm donor that's all he wanted to do donate sperm get his bag and then leave he wasn't trying to raise a child if he was he would have he would have went and had a child you were a lesbian anyways you knew you weren't in a relationship with a man why did you go out and have a baby if you weren't financially ready to raise this baby? This is like when it comes to just being an adult. You decided to have this child. Stupid. If you didn't have the money to raise this child, then don't have a kid. You just had a girlfriend. You didn't have a wife. You weren't in a long-term relationship or anything like that. It's like, why in any way, shape, or form is this man liable for paying for a baby? Yes, it is his, but when you donate at a sperm bank, you're giving up your rights to what they do with it, and you're not liable for it. How did this come back to bite this man? God, the system is rigged. To my sperm donor, and now I get 40% of his paycheck. You have no idea. There is a reason I never practiced family law, mm. and if somebody had come to me with this kind of fact pattern, I would have said no, absolutely not. Now, I saw this video because of his reaction video, the sperm donor who was actually sued on this. I, I have so many questions. First of all, I want to know what state she's in. I want to know what state made this possible. Second of all, um, why did she think that other people had to be responsible for Facts. having a child? She's you a grown adult. Why do you think somebody else has to raise a child when you decided to have the child? 
it's like, oh, look, the consequences of my own action. This is why I say like this victim mindset of like things that happen to you, you think that you're not responsible for it. Everything that happens to you is your fault. Man, woman, that's what it is. It's equal, right? Whatever happens to you in your life, you're responsible for. Pull your pants up, pull your panties up and move on. Because as soon as you give up the, as soon as you play the victim, you give up all of your power. And if you think everything in your life is your fault, you always keep the power. And that's the thing. Never play the victim, dude and you did this and here's the thing with um with family law what i do know which again it's not my practice area it hasn't been an area <clears throat> that i've really spent any time in other than helping friends and family and you know we have to learn it to pass the bar exam and i have two licenses so i've learned what i need to the state doesn't want you to be reliant on them mm -hmm. so if there is an opportunity for you to get child support in a one night stand or a relationship where a child was produced, that kind of a thing, the state is going to say, yeah, that's 50, 50. But in this case, you, you went to a sperm bank and talk about like the violation of him being able to get that information. I mean, well, yeah. And that's, see, that's the thing. Let's touch on that really quick. She absolutely got my co-star here. She absolutely violated this man. She went digging so hard. She went investigation discovery, found this man, bamboozled him, pulled a bait and switch, lied, was deceptive, convinced him that she was genuine, then got his DNA, sent it off, and found out. Like, that is so conniving. To me, that is evil. It's premeditated, in my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think that was premeditated, her move, or do you think she just stumbled on this information? I mean, she just openly admitted to, like, figuring out who he was, acting like it was a fake number, convincing him to go out after months, getting his DNA. That, to me, is premeditated, and that is malicious. That's very malicious. I don't think she was doing that in good faith. In good faith, she could have she said, hey, I do think you are the, the father of the child. I know you were at the sperm bank. I'm on tough times. Is there any way you think maybe we could form a relationship together? And and then maybe, you know, we can make this happen and raise the child. That would have been in good faith. What she did was in very bad faith. She was malicious. She came out of nowhere with it. She did the bait and switch. That, to me, should constitute that you should not get any of this man's money. Because you did it on false means. You did it on very deceptive means. You weren't honest. And you weren't truthful about your actual intentions. Which, to me, man, that's so, that's so, that's, that's just, I don't know what other word. It's just evil. It's malicious. You knew this man, you, you knew you got a sperm in a sperm bank. Why would you go target this man? Like, golly. And she's probably getting applauded on TikTok. This is crazy to me. If I were, if I were representing him or if I were even practicing family law, here is an area that I would focus on. I would focus on dads who are being screwed. Um, probably a lot of them. No pun intended. But I would be focusing on dads because I've come across so many dads and men who um, the tables have flipped a lot and women get a lot more deference in the courts. And in this situation, it is just appalling to me that he um, is having to pay 40% of his paycheck. That's a lot. For, uh, he, he sold the product. He sold his sperm. Like that was the end of that transaction and that's where it should have stayed. And so... Um, I feel like he should be able to sue the sperm bank or he should be able to sue someone, maybe sue the state. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not... I'm not savvy enough in the legal realm, so I really don't know. But I feel like there's somebody else that he could hold hold liable, which could be the sperm bank for you know divulging this information. I don't know how long ago this was. There's statutes. There's all kinds of different things on here. So this is not legal advice. Hypothetically, if I was representing him, I would be suing that sperm bank yeah. and making um, making sure that they they weren't giving away his information mm -hmm. uh, illegally and the, that friend, that friend who did that. And then the woman. See, that's what I'm saying. Who is this friend? Was this friend a receptionist that worked at the front of the sperm bank? Hmm? Stupid. Because probably what it was is she went up there and she made friends where she bought the sperm and was like, hey, girl, like, can you just go in there and find out who? The and that's probably what happened. And it's, it's probably a HIPAA violation, confidentiality agreement. She probably divulged that information, gave up that information, called it her friend. It's like, how does your friend just know? Is this guy walking around bragging at the age of 18 and 19? Yeah, I just donated sperm. And like, no, it would have to be someone at the bank that gave up this information. So, yeah, I think she's 100 percent right. How? 
conniving and mm -hmm. like i'm gonna get in there and i'm gonna befriend you so that i can get your dna sample and then take you to court i, I i'm agree. appalled mm -hmm. and it's kind of screaming i represented myself and um family law is one of those areas that you can represent yourself in not recommended but it is something that is supposed to be a little bit more user-friendly um because always get a lawyer bro no matter what happens to you guys fellas something with the family something with through a divorce anything always hire a lawyer they know way more than you do don't ever represent yourself always get a lawyer there's a reason there's lawyers out there we all have the right to have access to the courts i'm shocked at this video it's disgusting it sounds like a fucked up bar exam question is what it sounds like and i just i can't i can't people and she's proud of it mm -hmm. she's so proud make it make sense you Bro, this is why you got to be real careful of what you stick your pee, -pee in buddy boy because <laughs> <laughs> because b before you know it she's gonna be taking you to court and you gonna look Stupid. You know what I'm saying? You go, you go, go to court, and you're gonna be like, I don't even know who this woman is. And then you leave, and you're like, she gets forty percent of my check. What? You got to be real careful, man. That's why I always say, don't be a fool. Wrap your tool, bro. Bro, you always better put a little Jimmy hat on there, and then you know, you always just, just, just wear, wear some protection, fellas. Wear some protection. And then I guess don't go to sperm banks. And if you do, do it in a state that you don't live so they can't hunt you down and find you because this stuff right here is straight up out of a Stephen King novel. <laughs> this stuff is scary, boy. Like, I, I I didn't have this on my bingo card for 2024. I'm going to keep it a buck. I, I did not see this level of... um, What's the word I'm looking for? This level of, like, conniving, malicious... <laughs> I just did, I didn't video. see that. I, I didn't see that coming in 2024. But I guess, and, and the thing is, this is probably not the first time something like this has happened, dude. <laughs> I will be suing everyone that has shared my videos without tagging me. I recently posted a video where I said I sued my sperm donor and got 40% of his paycheck. It was obviously satire, especially if you saw the video from my account and you can click on my profile, you see sat satire account in the bio. But so many people have used that video to make me look bad. And because of that, I have lost my job. And so I'm suing you for defamation. I already hired a team of people to go online and look for all the accounts that have shared that video without tagging me. And we already have a long list of names and we continue to add more. So hopefully if you have it up and you haven't tagged me, uh, you still have time to take it down before my team finds it. But I just wanted to give you guys a forewarning so you have time to hire a legal team, get your case together so you have a chance to win. But I will say my lawyers are very good. You know, I was able to win a case against a sperm donor, which is almost impossible. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Wait, wait, wait. I this thought one. she said that was satire, but then she said she won the case? When? From what I've seen on her profile, also has a video where she says she sued her parents for conceiving her without her consent. I don't know if this is real or not, what? but what is real is that this woman has a need for attention and looks for any controversial topic to get men's attention. She's threatening everyone, as you can see, because she claims she's being defamed. But I don't know what she hoped to achieve with a video that should outrage half the population of the country, both men and women. The problem is the comments on those videos where you see feminists saying everyone should do this. They don't consider that a man donating his sperm is more of a favor to women, who often find themselves single and wanting to be mothers. Thanks to a man who decided to donate his seed, this woman was able to have children. But as I said, women don't value anything that comes from a man, even when it's a privilege. I successfully sued my sperm donor and now I get 40% Wait a minute, I'm so, I'm so confused now. Is it satire or is she being for real? Because it's like, is she, I, 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 like, what's going on? She said it was satire, and then she successfully sued him for forty percent. Like, what? So, what? What's what's the what's honest? What's what's honestly going on right now? This is so confusing now. His paycheck. I'm the sperm donor, and yes, I've been court ordered to pay roughly forty percent of my paycheck to this random woman and her child. Hmm. 
To all the people asking me about my opinions on these videos, I have no opinions because they're sketches. Mm. This is not a real situation. What they are claiming in this sketch is not legally possible. If you need more proof, satire account. And if you are wondering why I was tagged in these videos a lot, it is because my name is Laura High and I am your donor conceit person of TikTok. And to the people who made these videos and these stitches, I totally know that these are sketches. This was a fun little video you made with a fun little, you know, story that you thought would, you know, go viral, which it did. Unfortunately, I, did. I don't think you know what you just did. You essentially created free propaganda for the fertility industry. Again, I know you didn't mean to. I know it's just a little sketch, but that's that's what happened. As a donor conceived advocate and somebody who's literally like actively lobbied for laws for a better regulated fertility industry in Washington, D.C., one of the biggest things that we advocate is for transparency because the fertility industry is a multi-billion dollar industry and it is the most unregulated branch of medicine. Hmm. And there is virtually no transparency, so recipient parents have no idea actually what they're purchasing. Did not know I that. always compare the fertility industry to the Fae. They are not going to outright lie, but they are not going to tell you the whole truth. And when we argue for transparency, the fertility industry says, no, 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 transparency would be very dangerous. And that sketch that you just did is literally the situation the fertility industry claims would happen is if we had more transparency. And when donor conceived people actively try to get an updated medical history from their donors, the donors say that, no, I'm not gonna give them an updated medical history because they claim that your sketch is a real situation. I literally today had to deal with this misinformation where people are claiming, saying, no, 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 donors can totally be sued for child support. Like people literally think this is real. If you are a donor and you go through the fertility industry, it is impossible. You cannot be sued for child support. Oh, well, dude, I feel really stupid. <laughs> it shows you, man, that I, I got bamboozled big time. I have no idea what I just saw. I don't even know if... It is it is it is it satire? Because I mean that does sound completely ridiculous to me. And I think what got me is she said that, and then right after that was a guy confirming it. I don't think if I would have had the guy confirming it, I don't know if I would have believed it. And then the lawyer formatted the wall formatted this well where I really did believe it because I mean it, it sounds so egregious though. Like to go back and think about it, like because I react to these raw. I find these videos. I don't watch them beforehand. I I react to them with you guys so I can kind of see what's going on. But like. That curveball? Really wasn't expecting that curveball. Not at all. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. So I guess it was all satire. But to think in a reality where that would actually be possible is absolutely wild to me. So I'm really glad that that actually can't happen and that it is impossible. Because if it was possible, that would be very scary. There's a lot of young men out there that go out and donate sperm. And they probably do not want to raise a child. They might not even want to have children. But if they're willing and able, they can donate sperm. I, th I believe they should be compensated for that. It's the same thing with women. I think if you donate your eggs, you get compensated for that. Um, you know what I'm saying? So this is absolutely wild to me. Like, I wasn't expecti expecting something like this this morning. I saw this video. I was like, oh, this is this is a good video from the wall. And then I watch it, and now I'm like, I feel like it scrambled my entire brain. Most of the time, I don't have these huge curveballs in these videos like this, but this one had me like... <laughs> this one had me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this one had me thinking, bro. This one had me thinking. But she's a satire account, so she's like a crisis actor, which is crazy to me. This is nuts. But lesson learned from this is just watch out who you messing with, bro. You got to vet these women. Don't be going crazy with all these chicks. It's different times now. Girls will just make up claims like the football player the other day. They got fired. False claims. She got him, you know, kicked off the team and everything. She was happy about it. She didn't have to show her face. His career is ruined. This stuff happens. It's sad. It's a sad reality. Just watch out who you spend time with. Watch out what you do. You got to be careful. You got to protect your time, protect your energy of who you give your energy to. Because the thing is... You could be you could be talking to somebody who's absolutely batshit crazy, and then they turn around and it bites you in the butt. So just be careful and try to be nice to people. Like try to be nice to people, dude. Reciprocation of energy. You give them positive energy, they'll probably give it back to you. And if not, cut them off. You got to spend your time in the right places so the people that you are spending your time with, you're getting a reciprocation of energy that you're giving them. So and that's why I keep a I keep a really small circle, man. I got like I got like four to six good friends, and these are like good friends that I've had since high school or college. Other than that, I don't have like a lot of like friends. Like I have acquaintances, of course, but I don't have like a big wolf pack of like, I got 20 guys that I'm like, we're a boy. No, it's like four guys, really. 
three guys, really, if I really think about it. It's like three guys I'm super close to that I talk to on a regular basis. But the rest of the time, I don't even, I don't hang out with a bunch of people. I mean, I'm an extrovert, but I don't go hang out with a bunch of people. I got my co-host here today in the back. He is snoozing again. That's my boy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Thank you guys so much for 20K. 20K subs. This is crazy to me. Nuts. I really do appreciate it. The growth has been real. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Don't forget to like, comment. Oh, hit the like button. I think it's like right, right here. Yeah, hit that like button. Appreciate you guys, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.